What is up, viewer? I have to watch this video. Larox back here, and I am amazed. I was at school just like 10 minutes ago, and while we were in class, one of my friends he comes up to me and says, "Hey, Luongo got traded," and I was like, "What?" And then he was like, "Yeah," and then I was like, "To who?" And then he's like, "Florida," and then I'm like, "Oh," and then I thought that he was lying because I didn't think that Luongo would get traded to Florida. But then, after the bell rung, we were in the hallways, I wasn't in my locker and everything, my friend comes up to me and he yells, LUONGO GOT TRADED! And then, it w I found out that it was real. Roberto LUONGO has gotten traded to the Florida Panthers. Yeah, he's back with his old team. It's official, everyone. The LUONGO era is now over. Man, uh, one day before the trade deadline and LUONGO gets traded. Like, come on, just a day before the trade deadline. But we got back um, this guy, Jacob Markstrom, and we got Sean Mathias, so that's an okay deal, I guess. But, man, Luongo is back, or no, or he's back in Florida. And the, th the funny thing I find about this is... Since Luongo is now with the Panthers, and the, Pan or, and the Panthers got rid of their um, backup goalie, I think, and he's now with us, Tim Thomas and Roberto Luongo are now on the same freaking team. Seriously, I would have liked it better if we got Tim Thomas playing for Vancouver, but that would, that would be horrible, honestly, because Tim Thomas is like, what, he's really good against the Canucks, so why would he want to play for the Canucks? But anyways... The Florida Panthers now have two elite goaltenders on their roster, Luongo and Tim Thomas. Like, wow. Florida, you you guys have gotten some good trades, like Luongo for your backup and Sean Mathias. But the Canucks management, man, they traded Corey Schneider and Luongo in the same year. Well, Luongo in 2014, Schneider in 2013. Uh, Technically, it's not the same year, but you get the point. Two elite goalies, and now we have Eddie Lack. He's going to be our starter, um, unless this um, Jacob Markstrom guy can prove himself worthy for being a dependable goalie. Um, I haven't seen this guy play, honestly. I don't know his stats or anything. Uh, I don't know if he's a good goalie or not, but what I do know is that he's on this team, and he's going to be behind Eddie Lack, while Eddie Lack is now the starting goalie. And now, because of that, we have two Swedish goalies on our team. Obviously, Markstrom and Eddie Lack. So, this trade, oh my gosh, it's going to impact so many of the Vancouver Canucks fans, and it's going to give the Panthers, like, a bigger boost in confidence now that, or now knowing that they have two legitimate goalies that they can rely on when one of them gets injured or one of them has to play because of the other one. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But anyways... One year ago, I totally wouldn't imagine that by the end of uh, the Heritage Classic or the, um, or the Winter Break, or not Winter Break, um, the Olympic Break, I wouldn't have imagined Luongo and Corey Schneider getting traded away, and we, we're going to be having Eddie Lack and um, the other goalie. I just forgot his name at the moment. Uh, brain fart. Whoa. But anyways, the Luongo trade has happened. Luongo is now no longer with the Vancouver Canucks, and just one request to the floor of the Panthers. Please don't treat him as bad as the Canucks fans did. Like, come on, not starting him in the Heritage Classic, and then all the other drama that has happened in the past couple of years, the goalie controversies, who's better, Lack or Luongo? Who's better, Schneider or Luongo? Please don't have any of that controversy with T um, Tim Thomas, because as you guys know, Tim Thomas is a pretty good goalie himself. And he did win a Stanley Cup, too. And, yeah, some of you guys might know, um, not know this, but a lot of you guys will. Um, just for the uh, not really too familiar hockey fans out there. Um, Luongo and Tim Thomas, these two, they faced off against each other in the Stanley Cup Finals in 2011. And now they're on the same team. Who would have known? Tim Thomas and Luongo, like, on the same team three years after their Cup Finals. Well... Yeah, that's just really strange. But, the Canucks are in the rebuild phase right now. Now, the next move, a lot of people are saying that they're going to trade Kessler. And honestly, I don't see it happening tomorrow or today. 
there is a chance, but I don't, I personally do not see Kessler getting traded an option at this point, because if they were going to trade him, they would have probably done it by now, but anyways, that's just a little bit of the trade um, thingamajigs that are going on with the NHL right now. Luongo is actually the sixth um, goalie since Friday to get traded. Um, Halak, um, Miller, Luongo, um, Brits Galov. Brits Galov's with um, Minnesota now. What has he played for like five teams this season? But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Twitter and Google Plus links for them. Make sure you're like that, subscribe, and on that and gaming. I'm still going to be cheering for the Canucks, but whenever we face the Canucks, or we, whenever we face the Panthers, I... Please, Luongo, shut us out. And, bye.